back to what I was saying about Father Sliva, it's so easy for him to just dictate and say no to the underdogs and elevate the women who want to be modernists. They want to wear pants and get on the podium and say the readings and take control of the church. He's basically bending over backwards for them when a little guy comes in and just wants to play a little music in the choir in the background he can't be more um a solid in his heavy no and it really does affect the church because it's against the holy ghost in the body of christ as a whole we need each other's gifts it's against unity in the church but it's also against um the bread that I may need or the church may need if I tithe everything back to the church, like to the holy souls, or that a poor person may need uh, in terms of the gifting used as work. And uh, St. Joseph the Worker makes it clear that our gifting is from God, but it is also work. And if the priest denies us of our special gifting, even as a form of work, like doing weddings and funerals for a stipend or small things like that, I know um, you can release souls in purgatory by having Gregorian masses. And a lot of these are expensive. And how are you just supposed to come up with the money? And they just do not think. That's the problem. They don't think about the consequences of their actions, but they don't think in general. It's a me world for them, and we must pray very hard for them. I know it's been very difficult for me to attend services where the priests are um, depriving me of my talents uh, to my face, and they're not really, they, it just seems like they don't care. Kind of like a bad dad situation. And I know the priests suffer from this. The good priests, the remnant, suffer from this as well. They're ousted out of their positions by these prideful priests. But we see the, the spiritual darkness and blindness over these priests. And Our Lady of the Roses, Mary Helpful Mother, says that the 666, the dark one, has entered into Rome up into the very hierarchy of the church and entered into all most of these priests and clergy and that's the biggest deception you can ever tell yourself is the devil is not in the church i've had priests tell me there's no war and i have to say well that's interesting because when they cry peace and security you know that the end is near i think the biggest deception we have now in the catholic church is that everybody out there is bad but except us and we know that's a lie because that's against all the Marian prophecies and the book of, a, of Apocalypse.